Hey there, everybody. Um, sorry, I'm trying to move myself in the light here so it doesn't get in the way. I didn't realize how bright it was until this. I don't have my usual setup, which you can see in the background. I usually, well, I've been debating whether or not I wanted to make any more videos for a while between all the drama and all this other stuff. Um, and, of course, streaming and all that other stuff. So, I'm starting to get some stuff together as far as things I, I want to stream about. Uh, I might do some short, like, one, two-hour streams during the week. Different topics or associated topics. So, getting myself a uh, better schedule going, getting some better time management going. Um, so, basically, what I've been considering doing is uh, if I do any kind well any kind of daily stream that I do will generally have like a theme behind it like if I do a stream on a, on a Monday it's going to be about the Mandala effect Tuesday will be about you know all kinds of telltales etc Wednesday weird world um, Thursday thoughts and theories Friday fun and games that's going to be the game that I or the day that I schedule for like stream games and stuff um, Saturdays would be like for shout outs or different like uh, talking about either different channels different things that I've seen etc web wise and then of course Sunday I ain't got nothing going on that's my day of rest and you ain't taking it from me <laughs> um, but um, video wise I've thought about doing such different things like um, mutator Mondays which based on the XCOM principle is like taking something and just changing it up a little bit um, which can be anything from like a game, maybe something I want to talk about, etc. Uh, Tuesdays for anime, Wednesdays for movies, Thursdays for tabletop stuff like role playing games, etc. Maybe board games. Um, Friday be like for video games. Saturday would be the stuff for like deep thinking, deep conversation, that sort of stuff. And of course, Sunday for rest. That's for, you know, like videos and streams and such. Um, for you, those of you that are new to the channel, um, first off, welcome. Uh, I know a lot of this is because of the whole stuff with uh, the video I made regarding Katie, otherwise known as Joy. I'm going to be talking about that here in a moment. Yes, I know, the one video that of course I don't want to freaking make, but apparently it needs to be made because this shit's still going on. And not really so much with me as with other folks. And of course, she's still train wreck because she's always going to be a train wreck. Guys, you have to keep in mind, this is all she's got left now. She's embarrassed herself so much, there's no professional business that's going to touch this chick. It's come out what a liar and what a outright fraud this lady is. There is no business that's going to touch her or long term hire her. And it's her own goddamn fault, but she's still making excuses for herself. Everything that I said in my video has basically come to pass. And even then, she turned around and lied to her audience about it and tried to say, oh, it's a 10-year-old conversation. Bitch, please, there are the, the, the screen caps have timestamps, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, so it's not 10-year-old conversations, you're a fucking liar. Um, regarding her saying that she supposedly reached out to me and Amanda and Tim and other folks, uh, you're a fucking liar. You did no such thing. You did no such thing. You didn't reach out to anybody. And sending your little minions to come and try to play PR is not reaching out to someone. It's trying to claim that you're the good guy and guilt trip somebody. And it doesn't work on me. Neither do your little veiled threats about how you could release this and release that shit. If you thought you had something to release, you'd have done it already, because it's always been about your bloody ego. That's right, Joy, this part is addressed towards you, because you're a lying asshole. You don't give a shit about those kids, you don't give a shit about the chronic illness community, you never have, and you never will. It's always been about what you can get out of it. You used people, you used me... And you're still using people now. You hide behind them. And you know what that makes you? A goddamn coward. You're a fucking coward. You hide behind your goddamn fans. You put it into their goddamn heads that they're supporting you. No. You're playing off of certain psychological principles. The biggest one being um, mirroring. 
You act like you're a part of the community. You have a list of freaking, uh, things that are supposedly wrong with you that you keep adding to. And this isn't about trying to figure out what's wrong. You literally keep adding, oh yeah, I'm a part of this, I'm a part of that. Why does she do this, guys? Here's why. Let me tell you why. It's because a chronically ill person sees that. They take a look at it, they remember everything that they've been through. And you know what happens next? They see any criticism towards her as criticism towards them. They don't see her being attacked, they see themselves being attacked by proxy. And they react to it. And from there we go into the conformity approach, in which people under the conformity measure will begin to justify. They'll justify whatever she does. They'll justify whatever stupid shit she says. They'll justify her lying to their face as she's doing it. You're not her fans. You're her enablers. You're not her friends. You're her enablers. She doesn't have friends. She has people she uses until she's done with them. The whole reason that video came up Large, a, a big part of it was because I'm tired of her hiding behind the chronically ill community to do whatever the fuck she thinks she wants. She's a goddamn fake. And another part of the reason for that is because she just wouldn't stop, and I told her if she didn't stop, what was going to happen? She didn't listen. Live streams didn't do it. Going up on Twitter didn't do it. She tried to say that I was some kind of crazy stalker or some shit like that. Lady, I don't like you. I'm glad we were never a thing. Bullet dodged. By the way, when you were uh, trying to um, cozy up to me in 2013 about how you come down and visit and all that other shit, which, by the way, was your your suggestion, not mine, you didn't bother to tell me that you had a bankruptcy on file and that you were looking to just make somebody else your sucker to use. So a big special fuck you for that. No, you're a, you're a liar. You're a pathological liar. You use people. You're paranoid as fuck. Because even me doing nothing, I still have heard plenty of times about how oh, I'm so part of some consortium that, that's out to get joy. The only person that's out to get joy is joy herself. She does more damage to herself on a daily basis than anything me or any of these other people can come up with. Alright? And it's sad that I have to turn around and say this, but again, there are people that are new to the scene that haven't seen this all this different shit go down. Uh, uh, come on. You lied about Constigo. You tried to pass that off as an at sign to your goddamn audience, even though we showed the footage and said, guess what? You were talking about her. Even confronted with a lie, you still made more excuses. Uh, people were asking about Amanda. Amanda Smith, also known as Amanda. Um, she, she was awesome until she got into politics and activism, and then it turned her into a social justice warrior. She is the only person that Katie is more paranoid about than me. The last I remember seeing of Amanda, she had popped up on the scene and was, like, threatening Katie's business contacts and stuff, and it seemed to make her look bad more than Katie. And that seemed to be that. Uh, I don't know what's going on there. I would say take whatever comes out that way with a grain of salt. Hopefully she's changed for the better. I don't wish any ill on her, but I'm not touching that one with an empty foot pole. She has been a she's a longtime friend of uh, Katie's and such. And Katie don't want to touch it because Katie's got a lot of skeletons in her closet. And really, Katie, you got to know better than to make threats because. Uh, you're not as big as you think you are. And I told you this months ago when I made that video. You have no idea the enemies you have made. You've made enemies that are way bigger than you are. And you can't hide behind your goddamn fans to save and defend you. By the way, um, this next part's out to her fans. Now, you guys ain't gonna like this. But I'm tired of y'all shit. So here's what it comes down to. Please stop telling me how much you know this person when you've barely known them for a month, a month or so, and you've seen whatever face she decides to show you, and you're suckered in by her psychophant and honey sweetheart act. It's as fake as the day is long, and quite frankly, 
so are many of you. I'm not saying you're not chronically ill, because there are a lot of chronically ill people, but the fact of the matter is, what you what you pass yourself off as is fake, especially the ones, oh, I'm a joy fan, but I'm not so bad. Actions speak louder than words, and I see the shit y'all post. Or I have seen the shit y'all posted. I've seen the actions y'all have made. When people message me and I go to check them out and see what they're about, and I see your replies, I see the ugliness, I see the bullshit, and don't tell me how neutral you are when I see who you get in a fight with and why. And when I see you suddenly in a moderator position, or suddenly in, you know, getting the shout-outs after doing somebody's dirty work, don't tell me how neutral and impartial you are because you're full of shit. And don't tell me how not, it's not a cult by now when you have people that are making up shit, photoshopping shit, trying to make false accusations about people, and y'all are the ones concerned about slander? Oh, that reminds me. Um, the uh, special snowflakes that keep coming onto my videos and trying to make certain comments about how you watched my video. Um, you have to realize that one, I'm familiar with certain activist approaches, including social engineering, where you try to poison the well and set the crowd against people by certain worded comments. One. And two, I do know what's in the video. Worst case scenario, I will go back and actually look to make sure. So when you come and you ask me something, and you claim you watched the whole thing, and you ask me questions that are like basically right near the beginning, I know you didn't watch shit. Which I don't really expect anybody to power through the entire three hour monstrosity that is that video. Uh, hats off to those that have. But when you tell me you watched the whole thing and you're asking me questions that are right there, when you try to say that I am slandering someone by posting the chats that they put, again, you make yourself look like a fucking moron. I don't care how intelligent you are. I don't tell you how intelligent you come off as. Your actions speak a lot louder than your words, and your actions pound you, pound you, pound you, well, point you out to be a twisted little psychophant that needs to get out of Joy's ass. You're not impartial. You're not trying to get all the facts. You're there to start shit. And quite frankly, I don't have time to play your babysitter just because you have a screw loose or you're going through projection and mirroring issues because you let yourself get suckered over. And yes, at this point, you are letting yourself get suckered over, guys. You, you, there are no more excuses. There are no more excuses for you, especially some of you that have been there for a while. Okay? Y'all... There's always a PR line. There's always a defense. Joy's not being picked on. Katie is not being bullied. She caused this shit for herself. You are enabling her. Stop. Get outside. Get yourself whatever psychological counseling you need. Stop enabling her bullshit. Because she li when she lies to your face, and you know she's lying to your face, there's no more excuses for you. You are supporting someone, willingly supporting someone, who is full of shit. Your reasons don't matter. She's making a fool of you, she's making a fool of your community, and she's laughing up a storm while you're doing it. If you're for that fooled by her crocodile tears, you've got problems. And yes, those are crocodile tears, because they only pop up when she's backed into a quarter and being criticized. How about that, uh, I'm going, I'm leaving forever. Yeah, we saw how long that lasted, and everybody fucking called it. And I know about this shit because everybody keeps asking me about it. I've said time and time again, guys, I'm done with it. I've said everything that basically needs to be said. There's really not much more to get from it, and if you watch the videos or even watch some of the live streams that I've put about it after the fact, I mean, it's been several months. There's not much more to say. Okay? There really isn't. Uh, so, please stop emailing me about Joy. I don't really want to talk about it. There's a reason that people don't really want to talk about her, because it's obvious what a train wreck she is. It's obvious what a dumpster fire she is, and that she is a lying little con. 
It's obvious she's lying to you guys. She does it in front of her face. Why do you think she gets excited? Because she pulled a fast one on your ass, and she knows that you know, and you won't do shit about it. You're so concerned about the Grand Cleo community, why are you allowing yourselves to be a victim to someone that is a fraud? Why are you allowing someone to make a fool out of you and a fool out of your community and take advantage of it for her own selfish self-interests? Why? What more is it going to take? You guys claim you want proof. You guys claim you want receipts. But when the information is put in front of your face, you don't want to listen. What is it going to take to make you wake up and see her for what she is and the fact that she doesn't give a shit about you and never has? The only time she cares enough to make much of a point is when her ass is in the fire. That's it. When it looks bad for her. And you guys are saying, well, her streams are fun. Her streams are all about her. Dealing with the latest drama, defending some other rumor or truth where she's fucked up. You're telling me that's fun? You got a really strange concept of fun. Stop making excuses for the fact that you picked a lemon. You can't follow your turd. You still get crap all over your hands regardless. Okay? So, it's sad that I have to say this kind of stuff, but, and I had said, you know, hey, I'm done with this, I'm done with this, you know, I even posted on lockout and said, hey, look, guys, I'm not posting on here, if you see anything, it's not really for me, and I'm done with this, okay, I backed out of social media for the most part, I disappeared from Twitter, I disappeared completely off Facebook. Uh, it's just, it, and for a moment there, uh, for a while, I've been debating about just not streaming or YouTubing anymore, just walking away from the whole goddamn thing, because this whole bloody thing is toxic. It's like this toxic cesspool of a black hole, and it keeps dragging you back in and dragging you back in. Now, to some extent, I will admit, I'm, I'm partially to blame there, um, because... You know, that video is going to get noticed, people are going to ask questions and such, and you guys, um, sorry for how this comes off, but I'm not really responding more in the way of questions and such, I've responded to any number of questions through, um, I've responded to any number of questions through, like, uh, comments, through live streams, and so on, so I'm not really doing that at this point. I'm done doing that. I'm trying to move on to other things. Hell, I wanted to do some of my XCOM Lux plays, but my XCOM has not been working. Which I'm still trying to get that sorted out. I might actually do something from uh, Dungeons and Dread Dreadmore, some Let's Plays, something like that. I do plan to do another stream here soon, within the next couple of days. Uh, I've got a birthday coming up, so I'm going to do a birthday stream for that, for sure. Early on in the day. Hopefully. Um... But hopefully I've managed to get my get everything clear regarding that. Joy fans, y'all are a cult. There is something wrong with y'all. Y'all need to get the hell out of Dodge. Do yourselves a favor, get as far and fast away from that dumpster fire as possible. Because she's just using you and you're letting her. You are letting her make you a victim. There is no empowerment there. You are letting her make a joke out of you and your community. And she's making bank off of it. And for what? She's not helping you. She's helping her. The Daddy 5 thing? God, I'm glad I never got involved in that. Again, she didn't make need to make all those videos. She chose to because it would get her attention and views. And why did she want the views? Because she had pissed off people and they were leaving in droves. So she needed something that she could latch onto like a goddamn fucking parasite. That's the best... That's the best... Um... Description of joy, psychophantic parasite. And she will suck everything out of you that she can. Don't let it happen. Don't be that person. If you're still making excuses for her from that point, that says even more about you than it does her. And you have some soul searching to do. And don't tell me how you feel sorry for her, because that's how she sucks suckers in everybody. You're just allowing yourself to get suckered all over again. Don't tell me about you pity her because she's being bullied, she's not being bullied. Cause and effect is a very real thing. She brought this shit in herself. 
You don't tell the internet to fuck off and expect that nothing's going to happen as a result. Because you're an idiot. You do. You actually expect that. Okay? I got it all out of the way. I'm trying to think if there's anything I haven't covered. And I know I'm going to get Joy fans in here. Oh, well, it's not. I'm really not that bad or I'm pissed off at this. I don't care what you think. Your views are irrelevant. Actually, so are mine. I know, I just said both of our views are relevant, right? What the fuck? Uh, it comes down to what is and what isn't. And what isn't? She's not been telling you the truth since the beginning. What is? You know she's been lying to you. You choose to accept otherwise. You choose to make excuses for it. Everything else is just excuses. It's all just to validate why you're backing, why you're still backing someone who lies to you, uses you, manipulates you, and quite frankly, treats and regards you like garbage. It's time to, to break out of that, guys. There are plenty of other YouTubers and stuff that will give you the time of day and treat you with the respect you deserve. There are plenty of other people that suffer chronic illnesses and stuff that go through all sorts of shit that will give you the respect you deserve. And you deserve a lot more respect than that piece of shit. And I don't give a damn what Joy has to say about this point because there's not a goddamn bit of truth that's going to come out of her mouth. Don't tell me, Joy, how you don't know this or you're mystified that or there's more information coming later. You've been saying that shit for a decade. It's all a script and you keep replaying the same shit. That's actually how I know who your followers are, because they say the same shit that comes out of your mouth. And that's what's really sad, guys. Y'all that do that, you don't have an opinion. You have her opinion. You're choosing to be victims. You are choosing to be taken advantage of. And you need to make the choice to get the hell out of Dodge and break out of that. You deserve so much more, and you're never going to get it from her community deserves a lot more. It deserves more respect than what she is promoting towards it. Her as the face, as any kind of face for, for chronic illness, is incredibly, highly disrespectful and dishonest. And it makes life, it makes a joke out of the struggles you deal with every day. I can't profess to know all of them, but I have seen the pain in people's faces and in the stories that they have talked to me about since this has gone down. And I've asked, I've said, you know, if people have things with chronic illness, autoimmune and stuff, please let me know because I do want to know. And you guys have responded. Uh, many of you have responded. And I'm sitting there going, how is this okay? How is it okay for her to be able to do what she does and make light of that? Guys, you know she's lying her ass off. How many times does she have to come up with a new illness or a new bout of depression whenever her subs go down? It's too timely. Too coincidental. Everything that comes out of her mouth is like either plausible deniability or she covered it all before. It's the same script, guys. If you've heard it once, you've heard it a thousand times. She changes up her routine only to match whatever sucker she wants to rope in next. That's why she popped up Daddy-O5 and tried to white knight herself as being for the kids. If you care so much about the kids, take the goddamn videos down. Stop making money off of them. Otherwise, I don't, I don't want to hear shit out of you. And don't tell me about how you had some crazy highlight reel. You didn't do shit. Other people do your editing for you. That's, there's been no change in that since God's. Since the very beginning. Your intros, your outros, someone else did that shit. You didn't. You can't even be bothered to do your own half ass research. People call you out in that shit every goddamn day. Anyway, enough about that. Um, and again, guys, please stop emailing me about you. I, I don't want to talk about this toxic bitch anymore. I am so done with this toxic bitch and it's even funny. I am so done with her crazy cult fans that all insist that they're the special one that's different. The PR guys that are secretly trying to win me over. Guys, you're not going to win me over. She's a train wreck. Quite frankly, so we're plenty of you. And I'm not going to sit there and argue with people that are grown, acting like grown-up children. 
I'm not putting up with your shit. So, for those of the rest of you, um, I hope to be push putting out some new content here soon. I'm getting back into the swing of things. I've been taking some time because a lot of this stuff has been really kicking the shit out of me between that and life, so I, I only have so much time to... Hold on. Well, no. I won't say I only have so much time. There's only so much energy I want to devote to toxic bullshit. And I was done with it then. I'm really done with it now. I'm really trying to be as nice and, and respectful as I can here. I'm sure I'm going to piss somebody off, but whatever. Whatever. So, I'm getting my own Project Lin or Life Is Now thing going. And uh, we'll see what comes of it. I've been doing other things, trying to get stuff kind of worked out and move on and positive on all fronts. And I can't do that as long as certain loose ends remain, and this is a loose end that I am now clearing up. So hopefully I have cleared things up as much as I can. Regarding that, um, to you guys that came in um, because you liked the videos, um, sorry to disappoint that no more videos come out. Thank you for all the subscribers. Thank you for all the people that have you know, written in comments and have been really nice or really pleasant across the board. Um, uh, thank you to all the people that come that have come into my stream and so on and have like different comments. Thank you, big thank you to everybody that have shared like your different experiences and so on. Um, a big thank you to you guys and of course I hope you enjoy whatever future content I bring to the table next. Um, so, um, with that, I will go ahead and close this up for now. Sorry to take up too much of y'all's time. And I hope your week only gets better. Peace.